Um, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna introduce one of my uh, good friends. He's a speaker this morning. That's gonna tell us a little bit about how we got to the special day called Laku Okoa. Um, and his name is Kamala Yen Mahe Oe Kehoa. He's a valuable resource. He works in the Department of Education, the superintendent's office uh, for the Hawaiian uh, Office of Hawaiian Education. Mahalo. 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 Uh, aloha kaka iaka. <coughs> mm. <laughs> ah, no lila, e na e lele o kana awao ea <clears throat> Na ili kou o kala vela vela Na kanaka kupa o keia malu o palehua mehele akala Aloha nui o kou <clears throat> Today is an interesting day Contrary to popular belief I speak two languages English is probably the lesser of the two nowadays <clears throat> but we're gonna chant it so uh, nowadays we hear lots and lots of words yeah we hear kue uh, ikaheva we hear ku ikapono and we hear ku kanaka and we hear ku okoa and lots of ku 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 and sometimes it's hard for us to know what is the difference between all of these words so today we're not going to talk about any of that. We're going to talk about another word. And this word is called molia. Say molia. Molia. Say molia. Molia. <coughs> yeah, that's an easy word. We don't get it confused with all the other words, yeah? There's not many words like molia. Maybe malia, but we're not going to talk about malia today. Yeah, molia. <coughs> Pretty soon, we're going to get up to Laku Oko'a. Laku Oko'a is on the 28th of November every single year. Every single year is Laku Oko'a. And the reason why we're lucky to have Laku Oko'a every single year, because in 1843 was the first one. And for the Hawaiian Kingdom, there was only two holidays. One was Laku Oko'a, and that's November 28th. And one was Laho Iho Ea, and that's July 31st. So November 28th is coming up, and that's Laku Oko'a. And I told you we we're going to talk about Molia. Laku Oko'a is about Molia. The song that uh, Po'okumu sang this morning is about Molia. That was the first song that was written for the kingdom as an anthem. And when the new king decided that he wanted a new song, 
he wrote a new song and they made a molia so that a new song could be born. Yeah? <clears throat> there was a man and his name was Timoteo Haalilio. And excuse me for this lay, but this is his face. I wore this shirt so you guys could see his face today. Everybody say Timoteo Haalilio. He's my superhero. If I could have any superhero, he's my hero. You guys want to know why he's my hero? Yeah. <clears throat> he had one thing that he was scared of. Only one thing in this whole world. And the one thing he was scared of was leaving home. And he wasn't scared of going to another place. He just loved his home so much that he didn't want to be anywhere else. This man, Timoteo Haalilio, was King Kamehameha III's best friend. His best friend in the whole world, best friend. He's the guy that he called when he got to make emu. And he's the guy he called when he got to make parties. And he's the guy he called when he got to move his house. And he's the guy he called when he, somebody got to go pick up his kids from the school. That's his best friend. Yeah? And so when he asked, when he needed something to be done, the one thing that he couldn't ask anybody else, he had to ask his best friend. But the one thing he needed to be done was he had to ask his best friend to go from his home and leave his home. He had to leave Hawaii and he had to go on a boat and he had to go all the way to Mexico. So when he got to Mexico, he had to get on a horse and a donkey. He had to ride all the way to the other side of America. Then when he got to America, he had to talk to the president. And he talked to the president and he asked the president to shake his hand and to make a deal that he's going to support Hawaii. But the president, eh, he's a little scabby. Wasn't so garrins, kind of like most of them. And then he said, ah, oh, not ready yet. But you go ask somebody else, and if somebody else says okay, then I say okay. So then Halilio put on another ship, on another boat, he went all the way to England. Then he talked to the king of England. And when he talked to the king of England, he asked the king of England to shake his hand and to support Hawaii. And the king of England said, Raja that. And then he went and he talked to the king of France. And he asked the king of France to shake his hand and to support Hawaii. And the king of France said, Raja that. And then he went to the king of Belgium and he asked the king of Belgium to shake his hand and to support Hawaii. And the king of Belgium said, Raja that. And then he came all the way back to America and he talked to the president and he told the president, the king of England and the king of France and the king of Belgium, I shake their hand and I asked them if they can support Hawaii and they all said, Raja that. So I'm asking you, the president, if you're going to shake my hand and support Hawaii. And he said, he said, Raja that. And after they all said, Raja that, what happens is now, Hawaii is Kuokoa. Say Kuokoa. Ku Go like this, say Kuokoa. Kuokoa ku means you stand by yourself. You stand all alone. Not because you're lonely, but because you can. Because you're proud enough and you're strong enough and you can do everything that you need to do to stand by yourself. If get 100 people can stand by themselves, that's stronger than 100 people got to stand together. Because if 100 people can stand by themselves and they choose to stand together, now you're stronger than anybody else. Yeah? So Laku Okoa all happens on this man's back. This man went against the one fear that he had in this world, and that was to leave home. So he went all the way on the boat to America. Then he got on a horse and a donkey and went all the way to the other side of America. Then he got on another boat, he went all the way to England. Then he got another horse, went all the way to France and to Belgium. Then he came back on a horse, got all the way to England. Then he came back on a boat, came all the way to America. Then he came back on a horse and a donkey, came all the way back to Mexico. And then he got on a boat and on the way home, he passed away. <clears throat> and that was the one thing that he was scared about, is not living and not dying in Hawaii. And so he came back and he came home. And when he came home, everybody was excited because here's the man. Because he got the President of America to say, Raja that. And he got the King of England to say, Raja that. And he got the King of France to say, Raja that. And he got the King of Belgium to say, Raja that. Raja that. But then he passed away. And so everybody, as happy as they were, were so sad. But everybody was happy and everybody was proud. You know why? Because Molia, say Molia. Molia is when you go and you do something that's beyond you. You go and you do something that benefits everybody else, even if it hurts yourself. 
Yeah? You go and you do all of these things. Look at all of your kumu over here. Every single day your kumu come to work. And every single day they teach you. You think that they make up their stuff when they're standing in front of you? Or you think that they gotta go home and they gotta do all of your ha'avina at home? So every time you go home and you gotta do ha'avina, they gotta go home and do ha'avina too, huh? And then they gotta correct all your ha'avina. And then they gotta wake up in the morning and they gotta do it again. And that's molia. All you guys standing in the sun right now, that's molia. Thank you for doing that. All of you guys paying attention today, that's molia. Every time you come to school, that's molia. Yeah? Every time we stand up for all of the mauna, that's molia. Every time you be smart, every time you be the smartest Hawaiian you can be, that's the biggest molia you can do. <coughs> Today, we're going to put up the high Hawaii. We're going to put up the high Hawaii and it's going to stand on this pahu high. And that's going to be the only pahu high. And that's going to be the only high on this pahu. Because pretty soon is laku okoa. And every day we molia for that high. Every day you look at that high when you come to school. You guys remember this guy's face. Not me, not the ugly pake. This guy, the handsome Hawaiian on top of my shirt. Every day you remember his face when you see that high. Every day you remember one man who's scared to go. But he went, right? And then he went again. And then he went farther. And then he went farther. And he did all of this awesome stuff because his best friend went asked. He did all of this awesome stuff for all of Hawaii because that's what his lahui needed. Yeah? I'm gonna turn around and talk to you guys, Kumu, for one second, okay? You be patient with me, you guys, Molia for me. Okay, Kumu, this bit is for all of you. Ha'alilio, after Ha'alilio comes back, he actually goes around with two haole. His name is William Richards and another guy, another guy named Simpson. <coughs> when they come back, Ha'alilio passes away. After Simpson passes away and Richards passes away, they meet together and they meet in the, in the, uh, all of the representatives and they decide there's a motion to, um, to give a stipend to Ha'alilio's wife and to Richard's wife for, for service well done. In that assembly, they decide to give a stipend to Richard's wife and not to Ha'alilio's wife. Every time I say this, every single Hawaiian gets mad. Why? Why you give him to the Ha'alilio? Why you never give him to the Hawaiian? You know why? Because as much as Ha'alilio did, that's what's expected of a Hawaiian. That is what's expected of us as Hawaiians. <clears throat> the farmer, you expect him to pull weeds. The farmer, you expect him to hook kikalo. The fisherman, you expect him to grab fish. You expect that of them. There's no higher expectation than doing your job. That was Ha'alilio's job. No matter if you're not, no, it, it, it doesn't matter in the scale of things. Whether your job is to do this or your job is to do this. Hawaiian is a Hawaiian is a Hawaiian. Your job is to serve your lahui. Ha'alilio. Number one example of Sir Vilahui. So they didn't make a stipend for his wife. Kawikeuli took money out of his own pocket for his best friend's wife. Not for Ha'alilio's service to the kingdom, but because that was his best friend's wife. So every day we come to school, every day you stay up late, every day you do those things, it's because that's what we do as Hawaiians. That's what we do for these guys so that they learn what to do for the next generation. So every day you guys do Ha'avina, every day you guys stay late, Every day you guys wake up early. Every day you guys sit in front of these kids every day. That's your molia. Thank you very much from my heart to yours that we have hope for one more generation for this. We have hope that one of these kids can stand right here 20 years from now and tell this story. No leila, eko Hawaii pono i, eka iliko o kaaina, akalo, kanu o kaaina. Na ali haaheo, eku wana, ikealo o napali. Hey Inea, hey Inea my koi, eho ea my yana. Aole paha, mao popo, ko oko mao pepe ao ikau e namune. O kauna e hapaya e nei, e ihe e hulo ana, ya loko no ki o ko oko na au. Ike kahi la aku, e lohe mao popo my yana. Ke la la ke ia la e noke, ke la la e pau, ke ia la e pau. Ke la la ke ia la e nana o ko i ka pau hai me kona ko velo haaheo ana. O ko kako hai ke la. Ne ko velo, ne pā ka la. Ne helele i ka ua, 
Ne olu olu mai ka makani Ko kako aina ke ia Ko kako aina Ea ano leila Ena elele o keia muaku E ka iha aheo Aloha oko Thank you for being patient. Ilamai kai aloha.